I think I started officiating when I was a freshman at Walker College in 1964. Coach Clem asked me would I referee some intramural games, and I agreed to do it. And I refereed about four games a week at a whopping two dollars a game. <laughs> and uh, I knew from that season that I had found a love for officiating and it was something I wanted to pursue. I could have wrote a book about my most <laughs> memories, but all this steak was maybe worn here. I guess the one that sticks out in my mind the most is in 1993, I had the privilege of working the first SEC women's basketball game that was a sellout. It was Tennessee and Vanderbilt played at Vanderbilt, and they were one and two in the nation. And uh, it was a tough ball game. It went right down to the wire, and Tennessee wound up winning by a couple of points. Uh, it was written up in Sports Illustrated. Fortunate enough, my picture was attached to the article, so I got to be a Sports Illustrated. Uh, when the game was over with, Commissioner Roy Kramer and Assistant Commissioner Pat Wall and our supervisor, Al Link, came into the dressing room. And I thought to myself, I said, oh, me, I'm going to get my butt chewed out because right before the end of the game, I had called an intentional foul. And Roy, being the old Southern gentleman he is, the way he talks, he said, guys, just want to tell you, that was a national championship game out there today, and we had a national championship crew on the game, and he said, Eddie, you made a great call at the end. The most part that gave me the most gratification appreciation, one would be camaraderie and friendship with other officials. The other one I would say is I always worked under the theory that when I crossed that line and went on that floor, I was going to give 100%. And that's what I tried to do because I wanted to be the best that I could be and best of the best. Didn't always get there, but tried to be. I told my crew that every night before we went out on the floor that to these kids tonight, this is the biggest game in America, and we need to referee it that way and give them 100% and stick with them to right to the very end. There's no doubt that T.D. Norris and James Fowler had the biggest influence on my career. They took me under their wing when I was young, just had got into high school last lake association, and back then, we only worked uh, two games, a varsity game and a B game, and I'd go with them, and I'd work one half of one of them and half of the other one, and I gained, gained extremely amount of knowledge from that. T.D. Norris was a, uh, a older official that had worked in the SEC, or did work in the SEC, and some of the other ones, and James Fowler worked in some junior college leagues, but he was a coach there in Jasper, and I asked Coach Fowler several years after why he kind of took me under his wing, and he said, well, I saw a lot of potential in you, Eddie. The importance of my family and my officiating career is just unbelievable. You know, when you're in officiating, you're going to have to be away from home and family a lot. And if it had not been for the love of my wife, Lisa, and my two children, uh, Melinda and Nathan, I wouldn't be where I am today. I could have never achieved the things I achieved. Uh, fortunately, they loved basketball, and as they got older, we carried them to a lot of games with me that was on the weekends. I n realized that I uh, missed a lot of things while they were still growing up, but every chance I come home and got to be with them, I spent as much time as I possibly could. The advice I'd give to a first-year official would be read the rule book, read the rule book, and read it some more. You can get away with missing a call occasionally, but there's no excuse for missing a rule. Uh, the second thing I would say, get with a veteran crew in your association and go watch them play games and look, or referee games and do things that you're, uh, watch things that you need to do and, and improve on. Uh, the other thing, I'd pick out a summer camp somewhere to go in the summer, a basketball camp, and go with an attitude to learn, not just be seen. Uh, and when one of the clinicians says something to you, just realize that they're not getting on you. They're giving you constructive criticism to improve. And if you'll take a lot of their advice, you'll go forward. Words can't explain what this award means to me as far as the, my peers voted me in. Uh, I've had some honors throughout the year, but nothing can compare with this one. When I got the call the night that, uh, and I almost broke into tears because I was so happy because I didn't know I was deserving of this. I know it had been around a long time, but you know, people don't realize it is, 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 is they don't understand what it really means. And I'm so proud that other officials thought I was worthy of such an award.